I'm the type of person who would rather not have unused bloatware applications installed on my device. So today, I will be showing you how to uninstall the Android Auto application from your smartphone with the help of a simple ADB command. And for anyone who does not have a computer they can use, stick around to the end of the video as we can also perform this directly on the device itself. Now, Android Auto is just not an application that I use. And look at this list of permissions that Google automatically grants this application to have access to. So, in my never-ending journey to remove bloatware from my Android devices, we're going to uninstall this application from the default user account with ADB today. Before we can do this, though, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. For example, you will need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. Now, if you're not familiar with how this is done, I'll be sure to link to a dedicated guide that I've already done on this topic in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be. But you can get these tools directly from Google or by using a toolkit installer that will give you a command prompt shortcut on your desktop. And again, I'll have those linked in the video description below as well as the pinned comment down there. Now, with that done, you also need to have developer mode enabled so that you have access to the developer options menu. And we need that so that we can go in here and enable USB debugging mode on the device. We can enable developer mode by tapping on the build number section within the about phone settings menu around seven to 10 times. With all of that done, we can then begin the uninstall process. So let's connect the smartphone to the PC with a USB cable and then open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window from within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Now, it's usually best practice to execute the command ADB space devices before we can begin anything. And we do that just to make sure that our PC has a successful connection to the Android device that we have connected to it. This will also bring up the USB debugging mode access prompt on the smartphone for anyone who has not granted access to it. And you just want to make sure that you get a response with your serial number here, followed by the word device. Then, we're going to type out the command ADB space shell and press enter on the keyboard. And this will bring us from a prompt where commands are executed on the PC to a different shell prompt that's directly on the smartphone itself. And from here, commands are going to be executed on the phone instead of on the PC. Now, this next command is the actual one that removes Android Auto from our device. So let's type out PM space uninstall space dash K space dash dash user space zero space. And then this is the package name for Android Auto. So that's com.google.android.projection dot gearhead and when all of that is typed out we press enter on the keyboard and you should get a success message right here if you get an error then that means something went wrong but we want to look for this success message as that means the command went through properly now we go back to our android device go back to the main settings page then tap on the apps menu, tap see all apps, 
and then look in this list for the Android Auto application. On some versions of Android, you will not see this in the list anymore. However, on Android 15, you'll be told right here that the application is not installed for the user. That means the application has been uninstalled and it will no longer be able to run in the background. And all of those permissions that Android gave it access to your data will be revoked. So, as mentioned, if you do not have a PC to perform these commands, there are still a couple of ways that you can remove Android Auto from your device. The first is a popular application called Kanta, and with the help of Shizuku or Root Access, Kanta can remove blower apps without the need of a computer. Another popular option is an application called LADB, which lets you execute ADB commands locally right from your device. These two alternative methods do require a bit of setup, so if you are not familiar with how to get them up and running, I'll have links to dedicated guides that I've already done down in the video description below. And I'll even be sure to include those links in the pinned comment for this video as well. So there you have it. We have successfully removed Android Auto from our device and it can no longer run in the background. It also no longer has access to our data as well. If you're not a fan of pre-installed bloatware apps like myself, then know that you can use this method to remove just about all of them from your smartphone or tablet with ADB. And if you found this video to be of use, please do not forget to give it a like and to subscribe to the channel for more Android tips like this.